Good morning, students. And uh, class 12th, we'll be starting with the poem, A Thing of Beauty from your book, Samuel. So we have uh, done the other poems, and this is uh, the last poem, which we'll be doing on the Jennifer's Tigers we have discussed earlier. Although, of course, we'll be discussing it again. Now, what does this poem deal with? Yes, here, when I talk about a thing of beauty, this poem by John Keats, right, a very, very, you can uh, say, famous poem, a very memorable poem, it has described the beauty of nature. When I talk about beauty here, please uh, remember I am talking about the gifts of nature, the beauty of nature. And uh, yes, uh, can anybody gifts of nature around us? Yes. What are the gifts of nature? What makes this world so beautiful? Is it us or is it nature? Yes, please tell me. Right? Okay, so I, I'm going to see you all here and uh, yeah so who's going to tell you what are the gifts of uh, nature what are the things of nature that gives us happiness yes Tanisha would like to tell me yes I'll unmute you Tanisha what do you think are the gifts of nature I'll also come to know whether you are awake and listening what, what are the gifts of nature around us? Yes, ma'am. So, no, so she doesn't want to give me answer. Anybody else? Yes, Akriti? Let me see whether you are here. Yes, Akriti. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. Ma'am, birds singing in the sky, rising early every morning, and the river of water. Everything around us is created by God, and it's so beautiful. Yes, so very nice, very good. And uh, right here, it is uh, absolutely correct. And uh, these are the gifts of nature, all these things that are around us, right? So you have the trees, the flowers, right? You have uh, the river flowing, the huge mountains, the clear blue sky, right? All these are there, right? Nature has gifted us with so much of beauty. Do you think these gifts of nature will ever end? Yes? Raise your hand, want to answer? Do you think these uh, gifts of nature will ever end? What are we doing? Yes, your greenery and the flowers and everything. Yes, Marie has given me the answer. Yeah, so do you think that these gifts of nature will end? No, they won't, right? Definitely the condition of these things have changed. Look at how we have polluted the rivers, we've polluted the earth, we've polluted the sky, right? We have put the life of other animals in danger. But yes, at the end of the day, that nature has the power to clean itself. Yes, and of course, we also have to make an effort that we are blessed forever by this endless beauty. Yes, do you agree or not? Yes, it is there. Of course, if we have been blessed with this nature, it is our responsibility also to take care of it. Now, how do you feel when you go for a vacation, you go to the hill station, right? Or you go for a long drive and you see the beautiful fields around you, you see the trees, you see the clear blue sky. How does it make you feel? Make it feel? What? Happy. You're refreshed. Right? You feel so much better. 
and you come back yes uh, much uh, you know like a happier person and uh, rejuvenated and you feel more excited that okay that fine i can get back to my work because that little moment outside that little break outside you were there in the midst of nature it gave you happiness isn't it right so if you are there you know, like you planted a flower and when you see the bud bloom into a flower it gives you happiness and you look at flowers and you see the beautiful colors and the beautiful variety they have gives you a lot of happiness butterflies chirping of the birds all these things are there right so beauty of nature is endless right so if nature gives us happiness then what is it on this earth that makes us sad what do you think is there that makes us sad nature gives us happiness so what makes us sad yes anybody who tell me what makes us sad then what makes us sad human activity human nature behavior of humans that is what makes us sad isn't it right yes so we have here right but one yeah, like as i said you know you feeling upset you feel hurt you had a bad day and if you go away for a few days you're in the lap of nature you see the greenery and the flowers the mountains it gives you happiness okay so nature has that eternal charm to it it has that blessed quality of giving us happiness okay right and will it give us happiness forever and ever so even if you look at pictures of your past holidays and you look at this beautiful scenery it brings a happiness to you isn't it right yes so nature it has the quality of giving us endless happiness because nature is endless itself nature is everlasting nature is eternal now this poem that we are going to start today a thing of beauty it is by john keats right he was a famous romantic poet poet sorry and in this poem it's an extract from one of his writings that is the ending of okay and here he talks about his search for beauty and he finds this beautiful earthly beauty on earth and describes the happiness that nature gives of beauty to us so once again we're strictly strictly talking about the beauty of nature we're not talking about physical beauty or other things it is about the gifts of nature so can we start with the poem yes okay all of you look at the screen please a thing of beauty is a joy forever these lines are very famous very popular line it is a thing of beauty is a joy forever its loveliness increases it will never pass in nothingness but will keep a bower quiet for us and a sea full of sweet dreams and health and quiet What do you understand from these lines? Can anybody tell me? Yes. Who tell me what you understood from these lines? Yes, we know that the thing of beauty is a joy. Its loveliness increases with the passage of time. As we reflect on the beauty of the things, as we look at the beautiful gifts of nature around us, their beauty will increase. The beauty will never decrease. Let's see, this tree was so beautiful twenty years ago, but with the passage of time, it has what grown older, and so it is not as beautiful. It does not happen with the gifts of nature. They are always beautiful. In fact, with the passage of time, their beauty, their loveliness increases. It will never pass into nothingness. So the beauty will not fade away. Which beauty fades into nothingness? physical beauty we are there as humans as mortals we grow old and once when we were there yes very beautiful very active but with the passage of time what happens that beauty disappears and as i say beauty is what a nine day wonder right 
But the gifts of nature, they are eternal. They will last forever. They will always be beautiful. No matter how many years later you go to that place or you look at a tree, you look at a flower, you look at a clear lake, it is always going to give you pass into nothingness. Pass into nothingness, it will not fade, it will not end, it will not disappear. But we will keep a bower or a bar quiet for us and a sleep full of sweet dreams and health and quiet. So it's possible for us that under the shade of the tree, under the branches of the tree, the bark, right? The branches, quiet for us. And under that, what, in the shade of the tree, under the branches of the tree, we can fall. And beauty of nature, right? You think about it, it will give us a sweet dream, not nightmares, not scary. Right? So in the lap of nature, you will get happiness, you will get good sleep. And as a result of good sleep, when you sleep well, what happens to your health? You feel healthier, you feel active, right? So you don't feel cranky and uh, you don't feel ill-tempered. But when you've had a sound sleep, your nature, your behavior is better, isn't it? And quiet breathing. When we breathe quietly, Yes, when we breathe quietly, when we are relaxed, right? So once again, let us just go through these lines. What is a thing of beauty? Yes, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. A thing of beauty will be eternal. It will give us happiness always, right? It's loveliness increases. What's loveliness? Who's loveliness? of nature, of the gifts of nature, the beauty will increase. It will never pass into nothingness. It will never end, it will never disappear. But in fact, nature will keep what? A place for us, right? There will be a spot for us where under the branch of the tree, in the shade of the tree, in the lap of nature, you can relax. Or thinking about nature, thinking about all these beautiful gifts of nature that we have, we can feel relaxed, healthier, much better. Right? And if we get a sound sleep, our health will be much better, our behavior will be better, we will be better persons. Isn't it? So nature is there, right? Yeah, that is why, you know, like when people are not well and they are being advised. To go take a break, go to a hill station or go to near the beach, right? A any beautiful place where they will get relaxed, go for a long walk and uh, admire the beauty of nature and it will definitely make you feel better. Isn't it? Simple things that we are aware of, but so beautifully written. Any doubt over here? Anything not clear? So what is it? Loveliness increases. What does this mean? The beauty increases. Never pass into nothingness. What is nothingness? Disappearing, ending. We'll keep a bar quiet for us. A bar is the shade, the branch of the tree, right? And a sea full of sweet dreams and health and quiet breathing. Is this clear to hear? Anybody, any doubt? Any problem? Anyone, you can raise your hand, you can text me if you have any problem here. Yes, boys, any problem? Bhavni, Ladan, Itesh, Jatin, Krish, anybody? No doubts? Nothing? Are you sure? Yes, so what is there so typical about the gifts of nature? What is one very important quality about the nature, the gifts of nature, that is? It is eternal. What does eternal mean? It never ends. It's everlasting, right? And with the passage of time, what happens to these beautiful gifts of nature? The beauty increases. 
right? Okay, so how else does it make us happy? Can I start? Can I continue? All of you? Yes. Therefore, on every morrow, are we reading a flowery bad to bind us together? Spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth, of noble natures, of the gloomy days, of all the unhealthy and over darkened ways made for our search. Yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away the ball from our dark space. Have you understood anything from these lines? Once again, it is discussing the beauty of nature. Right? What is it that makes us so attached to this world? What is it that makes us, like, see, like, of course, we are all so happy here to be alive and to be a part of this beautiful world. Right? Of course, it's not only family and friends, but it is because our earth is a beautiful place to live on. Isn't it? Right? And as we wake up every day, therefore, on every morrow, what is morrow? Morning, right? So every day when we wake up, we are reading a flowery band to bind us to the earth. Our attachment to the earth becomes even stronger. Okay? What does it read? You all know what a read is? What does it read? It is a ring of Plus, I'll be, I'll be writing down all the word meanings, okay, so that it will be easier for you. Because there are lots of word meanings that you need to know from this word. But first, I just want you to get the idea of the word, right? So every day when we wake up, we are reading a flowery band to find us. Right, so it's a beautiful comparison of our attachments, a flowery band, a band of flowers to bind us to the earth. What are we doing? We, there's always something for the other. You take our band, you look around you and you notice so many beautiful things. Right? And every day there is something for the other that happens that makes our connection with the earth stronger. Okay? Right. And yes, what are we talking about? Nature. We're talking about the gifts of nature. Right, you might not have noticed that particular flower. You might not have noticed even you know, the sound of that chirping bird or the beautiful butterfly. All these things that every day we wake up and our attachment to the earth becomes stronger and stronger. Right? Are we reading a flowery band to bind us to the earth? So what's it read? And of course, when you make a flowery band, what do you do? You take one flower and you put it another one, and then you get this long band of, right? But here, yes, what are these? These are these gifts of nature that make our attachment with the earth strong. Okay? Is this clear to all of you? Give me a yes or no. Is this clear? So every day we wake up and we make our connection, we make our bond with the earth stronger because of these gifts of nature, right? And it makes us realize that, yes, we are living on this beautiful planet. Spite of despondence of the inhuman dearth of noble natures. So in spite of the sadness that is there, right? We know in life right now, we are also going through this phase where there is a lot of uncertainty, where there is a lot of sadness. There are, you know, like, of course, we are there in this very uncertain atmosphere. Right? And in spite of that, we have here, right, yes, spite of despondence, of the inhuman dearth of noble natures. Dearth means shortage. Right now, please. In spite of the sadness, what is despondence? Sadness, right? Of the 
inhuman dearth of noble natures, of the shortage of, of the lack of noble natures. Noble natures, kindness. Who's supposed to be kind? Who's supposed to be good? We humans are supposed to be good. But are we? There are very few. And yes, it happens in our life. We get disappointed. Someone says something, we're hurt. Someone behaves bad with us. We are upset, isn't it? Right? Of the gloomy days, sadness. So there are days when at a stretch, we feel very upset, we feel very sad. We realize that there is a shortage of good humans, right? And life makes us go through so many experiences that we have realized that people are selfish. People will create sadness in your life. Okay? Gloomy days, sad days. Of all the unhealthy and over-darkened ways. Right? So what does it? It seems as if our life was darkened. With what? Sadness. Gloomy means sadness. Of all the unhealthy and over darkened ways. Made for our searching. So you're looking, but around you, what can you find? You find selfishness. You find lack of good nature. Right? You find that people around you are so selfish. And what happens as a result? The sadness comes across your life. Is this clear? Yes? Yes, in spite of all, some shape of beauty moves away to fall from our dark spirits. I, I'll just give you an example of her life, of course, when we were in the lockdown, right? So what happened here? Yes, you were there, we were confined to our homes and quite tensed and worried about what is going to happen. But Right, although we were at home and uh, yes, so watching the news and listening to things happening around us, it did create an atmosphere of tension and uh, you know, worry around us. But things did happen, you know, that made us so, that brought a smile to our eyes. Like we noticed things that we had never noticed before. We heard the sound of the birds. We noticed that yes, here, we, the plants which are there, how they bloom, how they give us happiness. We notice insects and butterflies. We notice the sky becoming clearer and clearer. And what happened as a result of it? We felt so happy. Okay, right? So till here, any doubt, I'll be giving you the word meanings also. I'll write them all down so that you can note it because these few lines are lines which are a little difficult. Okay, so I will be explaining it once again when we meet tomorrow. So I want you to read this poem. I want you to try to understand. I want you to appreciate the gifts of nature. This is the most important lesson that this poem teaches us. That nature is eternal. Nature is an endless gift. Nature is always blessing us with happiness. Right? Yes, and when we realize that humans around us are so selfish and uh, they create sadness in our lives, it is nature that once again puts our life on track. Okay, any doubts, any questions? Anyone?